ever wondered which server is better, Windows or Linux? Well, the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. Both have their strengths and weaknesses, and the choice often boils down to specific needs and circumstances. In terms of cost, Windows Server comes with licensing fees that can add up, while Linux Server, being open source, is largely free, although you might need to pay for enterprise-level support. When considering the user interface, Windows Server offers a familiar graphical interface, while Linux provides the option of a graphical or command line interface. As for software and application support, Windows Server is often the go-to for compatibility with various Microsoft applications and certain commercial software. On the other hand, Linux Server boasts a vast repository of open source software and supports many third-party applications. In the security department, Linux Server is renowned for its robustness and stability, thanks to its open source nature and quick patching of vulnerabilities. Windows Server, in contrast, has had more susceptibility to threats in the past, but Microsoft has made significant strides in improving its security measures. Performance-wise, Windows Server performs well with Windows-based applications and tasks, while Linux Server is known for its efficiency and optimized performance, especially with concurrent processes and server loads. When it comes to customizability, Linux Server takes the lead due to its open-source nature, allowing for significant modifications. Windows Server offers some customization options but is generally more restrictive. Finally, in terms of support and updates, both have their merits. Microsoft provides comprehensive support services, regular updates, and security patches for Windows Server. With Linux Server, support can vary based on the chosen distribution, with some offering enterprise-grade support. So, in conclusion, the choice between Windows Server and Linux Server often hinges on factors like application requirements, IT staff familiarity with the operating system, existing infrastructure, and cost considerations. It's not uncommon for enterprises to employ a hybrid approach, using both Windows and Linux servers to capitalize on the strengths of each platform.